Do you want to get um, in and out later? Hmm? <laughs> Why do you look so cold, huh? Need me to warm you up? Hmm? Yeah, come here. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> you're freezing. Oh, your hands are like icicles. It's because they turned the AC on. Because <laughs> they wanted cuddles and it was hot. <sighs> You'd be cold no matter what, though, so come here. <clears throat> I missed you. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. But thank you for understanding. I know. <laughs> I know you understand, but I just wanted to remind you that I'm here with you and I'm not going anywhere. Okay? I know our, our brains can say crazy things sometimes, but I really like you. And I really love spending time with you. But right now, until I can do enough where we can both just do nothing all day, I'm sorry that I have to disappear sometimes. But every single day, I'm always thinking about you. And I'm wondering how your day's going. I'm wondering how <clears throat> you're feeling and what you're thinking about. <clears throat> and how work is going. There's a million, a million things I could say, but I'm always thinking about you. I've been okay. My energy's been a little off because I've been having to do so much. And the only way I can recharge and feel okay is when I'm with you. And I haven't really gotten, I haven't really been able to do that. And that's why I turned the AC on. <laughs> so I can get my cuddles in. <laughs> you squeeze. No, you can't go anywhere and you're just going to want to bury yourself inside of me. Mm -hmm. You can crawl inside. You're not going to go anywhere, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No cuts. This is nice. This is all I need. If we could run away from all of it. Sometimes I think about that. If, if we just decided to run away. Just you and me. I wouldn't need much, you know? Just an internet connection. So we can play games still. A fridge for all our food. You know, basic stuff like a bathroom. Or even when I'm 
of those like portable shower things or I don't know what I'm saying but <laughs> I don't want to live in a van I'm just saying like A lot of people want a lot of things. But at the end of the day, all I really need is just... You. To be able to talk to you. And hear you cry. And tell me about all the pain in your heart. And all the joy and excitement and... Just life. Just every day to just be with you. I feel like if we can run away. And we didn't have to worry about all of these things. That'd be okay. But because I have you, I'm okay with all of it. So don't go anywhere. And if you do run, I got you chipped, so I'll know exactly where to find you. <laughs> but yeah, it has been really, really hard lately. So thank you me grounded and uh, giving me something to look forward to. <laughs> Without you, I, I really do think I would be lost. <laughs> Without the way you talk to me and open up and share and reassure me. I just, I don't know. <coughs> I know sometimes you might think like, why is he here with me? I mean, but I think the same thing about you, you know? With all the love in your heart and energy. It's just... I know sometimes you feel the same way, right? Like, what did I do to deserve this? But then I remember how I love you. And how I care for you. And now I just want to be there for you. And I remember, oh, there doesn't need to be a reason. The universe just decided and put us in that path. Not like we don't have free will and that we don't need to talk and communicate and do all those things, but I'm just glad I am where I am. Even with all the stress and things. I don't really want to go back in time anymore. You know? But if I ever lost you, I would replay in my mind. Every moment with you. Even if the universe was predestined, and even if we had no control of our fate, I think I would rewind and play every second with you, even if it was doomed. <laughs> even if in the end I knew I would lose you, I would rewatch and re listen and do it all the same. Over and over again. <sighs> what am I 
I say? <laughs> I don't believe that. You know, I do think we have control. I, th I do think it's all up to us. And that everything we do matters. You know? Every step, no matter how scary it is. I don't think I'm making sense. <laughs> I think I'm just overwhelmed with you and my thoughts and this feeling I get in my chest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in a year, two or three years, but. I'm going to do everything I can to keep you. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Unless those are happy tears. Maybe a mixture of both. I'm still here. I don't do things that I don't want to do. Nothing could ever make me do something that I don't want to do. My allergies are a little bit better. I just... I don't know, maybe I should start wearing a mask when I go for walks because, oh my god, the pollen is crazy. <sighs> and please stop buying snacks. <laughs> like, you know I have no willpower. I just eat it all. <sighs> Earlier, I was eating chips and I couldn't stop and I was like, if I just leave the bag open... The ants will eat it, and then and then I'll be good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> let me just close the bag. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a silly thought. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you want to see something? <laughs> no. I'm yeah, not being a pervert. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But I mean, I'm done if, you know. <laughs> That's not what I meant, though. <laughs> I mean, it's something crazy. Don't think it's like some. I'll just show you. See it? What do you mean? What is it? It's a conch shell. Not just a conch shell. A magic conch shell. Mm -hmm. No, I'm serious. Like, like for the past week, I've been. I've been using it to kind of make decisions. <laughs> I mean, not, nothing crazy, but, you know, just small things to, you know, things I'm not really sure about. Like, like what flavor G feel, or if I should go for a walk, or if I... Uh, or if I need to buy that new video game, or, you know. I, I'm see it works. I'm telling you, every single time. Okay. Here, I'll go first. Okay. Should I give this pretty girl a big kiss? Yes. Oh, see? Yes. 
<laughs> Come here. It's a big kiss. Kiss isn't over yet. same thing okay I want you to think about something in your head nothing too crazy nothing too big okay just something small do you, do you understand nothing too big just something that you've been thinking about that you want maybe it's <clears throat> Maybe it's McDonald's. Maybe it's the cute little dress I've been seeing you look at. Maybe it's a game in your wish list or a board game or wanting to talk to someone or send something or a craving. Okay? Do you understand? Okay. I want you to picture that in your head. You don't have to tell me what it is. And then I'm going to say the magic words so that the conch shell knows and it could feel your energy. And then we'll see what happens, okay? Okay. <laughs> Get it in your head. Come on. Feel it. Say it over and over and over. Okay. Is it there? Close your eyes. Okay. Magic conch shell. Listen to her thoughts and answer her questions. No. Oh, that was a big no. <laughs> <laughs> Did that answer your question? Nope, you only get one. Mm -mm, you can't ask again. Sorry. Uh, it only works. It has to recharge now. It's a magic conch shell. You can't just keep using it until you get the answer you want, you know? You have to give it the energy it deserves. <laughs> and it has to be something you really, really want. Sometimes I think it's not like a cosmic choice that it's making, but something deep in my heart that it tries to answer. Like when I was thinking about kissing you, all I thought about was how your lips would feel, how your breath would feel against me. The way your eyes would close. Hmm. The way your breath hitches. The way your hands touch me. And then I... I felt it in my heart. And I knew that all I wanted at that moment was to kiss you, to touch you, to let you feel how I, how I ache. So, that 
that's how that works, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> or maybe some kid just made it with his 3D printer. <laughs> Either the former or the latter, I'm not really sure. I like to think though, you know? And then... Sometimes, like, remember I told you I, I used to flip a coin in the air? And then I would know as the coin is spinning that I knew which one I wanted to choose, what I really wanted. And so sometimes I don't really let fate decide, but I listen to my heart as I ask and as I wait for the result. So let's try it again. But something big this time. Something you need. I want you to feel it in your heart, in your head, in your mind, in your soul. Think about it over and over and over. No matter what it is. Okay? And I know this is going to be hard for you because you're still learning. But remember, I always say, there's a voice in your head that talks to you and tries to soothe you. But sometimes it tells you lies. Sometimes it tries to hurt you and make you feel sad. But then there's just this voice deep in your soul and your stomach. There's this deeper voice that never lies to you. I need you to listen to that voice that never lies to you. Don't try to feel pain. Don't try to hurt yourself. Just listen to what your heart needs to tell you. Not even your heart, just the universe. Hold it in your head. Okay. Are you ready? And remember, the second you hear me pull the string, that voice is going to scream at you. Three, two, one. Magic conch shell, speak to us. I say yes, but why bother? You're just going to pull me again anyway. Did you hear the voice? And I screamed. The one that feels like it's the back of your head. You know the answer? and playing around. I know when your heart is feeling heavy. You know I love you. That I crave you. And I think about talking to you. And daydream about the small things. <laughs> Laughing with you. Watching shows with you. Go on walks. <laughs> Biting you. <laughs> Just everything. <clears throat> so it's not always good to daydream, right? Like, we shouldn't always get lost in those dreams. But for me, I realized they help me escape reality. And that can be dangerous. Until I realized that every daydream I had involved you. And before I met you, it, it 
was with different people and different things and different scenarios, but when I would imagine them, it wasn't really them. It was how I wanted them to be or how I wish a conversation went. And I would make excuses for them and it would ease the pain. But with you, I know it's a reality. <laughs> Come here. see something? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's exactly what I mean this time. I have a present for you. Do you want to feel it? <laughs> Give me your hand, princess. 